Welcome to Monday, Monday, Monday. I'm gonna try. I wanna put you guys on a tripod so you don't move so it's not just me doing like this the whole time. And uh, I'm gonna figure out how to get this to work. I fixed it. No, that is so hot. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's going on everybody? How are you guys doing? Welcome to Monday. It is the most awesome day of the freaking week. You know why? Because the beginning of the week is starting. You have the whole week to get stuff done. How are you guys doing? Let's do an update. Alrighty, so a fit vlogger update week. 12? It's 12 or 13. It's something like that. What is in my pocket? Phone? Don't need that. So, week 12 update. What's happening? For one, feeling great, feeling good. How are you? So yeah, I've been, uh, I'm feeling good, guys. I feel great. I've been, uh, ate like shit this weekend. Ate like, like really bad shit. You know how you like, you're, you're working out and you're doing good and then you're like, I'm doing really good and I know what bad food does to me. But I want it anyway. Well, that was Friday, that was part of Saturday, and that was one meal on Sunday. But one thing I like about eating bad on the weekends is you, you eat all this nasty food, and not all of it's nasty food, but you eat too much food, and you get to this point now where you're like working out all the time and you're eating good, so you know what that feels like, and then you eat bad, and you're like, I don't like the way this feels. I'm almost like eating bad motivates you to eat good the whole next week. Doesn't make a ton of sense, but it is 100% true. Oh my God. Like my motivation throughout the week is the shitty food I eat on the weekends, which the shitty food fuels the I want to be a shitty person in me where I'm like, I'm just going to eat bad food and fucking sit around and do nothing all day. So last night spent like two and a half hours cooking every meal I'm going to eat this week. Uh, meal prepping makes your week so much easier. Like, there's no, what am I gonna eat today? It's literally like, you have Tupperware in your fridge and you're like, do I want that healthy meal or that healthy meal? Okay, now I just have to put it in the microwave and then I can eat it. There's no choice of that option. Meal prepping is absolutely awesome. Even if you don't have time to work out, what I'm doing right now is I'm spending my Sunday, like me and Hedda DT go shop on Sundays, and then like we literally buy everything for the week. We go home, we cook all of the food for the week, we put it in Tupperware, and we put it in the freaking fridge. If you guys have eating problems like I do, like you just, if you put food in front of you, you will eat it. An amazing way to get done with that is meal planning and prepping. Planning is the what am I gonna eat, Prepping is the actual cooking of that, so it's ready to go. Highly recommend that for you guys that like, like me. You eat, if you have food in front of you, you eat it, because that way there's a certain amount of food in front of you. Also, side note, when you meal plan and prep, make sure you do it when you're not hungry. Go eat, like eat before you actually do all the cooking, because that way your full brain is gonna be like, okay, well, when I'm hungry, this is actually how much I need. You're not gonna be like, I'm starving right now, I want to make this food for me. Meal planning and prepping, and we, I haven't been meal prepping for a while, uh, for a couple weeks now. I did it for a week, it worked out great, but then, you know, life happens, you don't have time, you're not gonna be home that entire week. You kinda get off schedule, but we're getting back into the meal planning. Did it Sunday, we're gonna start, that's gonna be a Sunday thing for us now, is on Sunday we're gonna go shop and go cook and all that kind of stuff. Really excited for that. On the workout front, um, still doing the regular stuff. I'm about to be doing my upper body stuff in a minute. A new change though is my lower body stuff. As you guys can see, I work out here on a cement floor. And while I do have, while I do have a really thick yoga mat, I don't know if you can tell how thick that is. It's pretty thick and I can even double this up when I'm doing my lower body stuff, which is like ab crap. But I've noticed that like um, a lot of the ab stuff was like getting like, hold on, like that and going back and forth with the medicine ball and all that kind of stuff. A lot of the workouts were doing crunchies type stuff. And even with a thick mat, even doubling the mat up, my tailbone has gotten to the point where it starts to hurt pretty bad at the end of the workout. So I'm worried that that's causing some type of problem. So today I'm going to be looking up a new uh, lower body legish type workout that I can do that doesn't involve me sitting on the floor kind of in a back position thing because 
I think that's starting to wear, like, not wear down, but create a long-term bruise, and I don't want that to happen. If you guys have any links to anything of, like, uh, body weight, abs, and down workout. I'm totally down for that. I'll be doing that two times a week. What else is new? Last week I started jogging. Uh, I jogged on my off day, not my off days, but my Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm not putting jogging back in the mix because I'm to the point I'm starting to see muscles and stuff like that, especially in my arms. Uh, I'm, start, I'm starting to see more muscles, not that there were no muscles to begin with, which there probably weren't. Anyway, so I'm putting jogging back in the mix and I'm dropping the protein shakes because what I, I it, it's that weird point where I know that it's not exactly what I need to do. Even though I am mentally aware that right now it's just like get the protein in, build the muscle so the muscle burns more calories, I totally understand that. On the flip side, in my brain, I would like more motivation pushing me forward, which is going to come in the form of me losing weight. Losing weight means I need to burn more, ca much more calories than I'm intaking. So this is why I've really stepped up with the meal planning, making sure I get the exact amount of calories that I want every day or, you know, every week. And jogging is going to increase the amount of calories my body is using per week. So I'm hoping uh, to rock this out for the next probably two or three weeks. And we should see some decent weight drop. Uh, I'm, if I can stay, if I can maintain this meal planning, prepping, jogging, everything, I'm pretty sure we'll drop a pretty decent amount of weight in that amount of time. So I'm pretty excited about it. Obviously, we'll kind of see what the next couple weeks goes through and uh, see where we go from there. And I think that's about it. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So that's Fit Vlogger update 12 or whatever it ended up being because I'll correct myself down there. And I will see you guys for the next update on Monday, and I'll also see you on Wednesday for mail? I haven't checked my MPO box, so if there's mail, I'll check it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you on the next one. Work hard, be positive, and you guys go kick ass this week. It's going to be an awesome week. Woohoo! Later, guys.